You may have found my channel from this video or even this video. Well, I'm here to tell you not to do elimination communication, and here is why. Elimination communication, also known as EC, is not potty training, and it doesn't make potty training easier. Or does it mean that your baby will be potty trained earlier? The reason people do EC is actually to eliminate the amount of diaper use, and this may be because they can't afford to buy a lot of diapers, or don't have it accessible to them, or that they use cloth diapers. Because doing cloth diapers is a little bit more work, you have to wash them, and so it's a little bit messier if they have a lot of peas and poops in the diaper. So is it really worth it? It depends. Hey my awesome friends, it's Anissa, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about five things that I wish I knew before starting EC. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll realize whether or not you wanna start an elimination communication journey or wait until your baby is a little bit older to do potty training. When I first heard about EC, I thought I would be using less disposable diapers and less diapers in general, especially that I wanted to do cloth diapers. And that was not the case. You actually go through a lot more diapers, whether it be disposable or cloth diapers, simply because you don't want your baby to get used to the idea of feeling and sitting in their own pee and poop. So you have to change it more often to keep it nice, clean, and dry. Then there was the idea of catching every single pee and poop. With my personality, I wanted to make sure I had zero to one dirty diaper a day and I wanted to catch every single pee or poop that my baby was having. It like stressed me out so much and that is not the goal. The goal here is exposure and just giving your child the opportunity to relieve themselves outside of the diaper. So you really just want to focus on your successes, not the misses, essentially. Even if you just had one or two successful catches during the day, celebrate those successes. That's one less dirty diaper that I don't have to worry about or I didn't have to use. And if you've watched EC videos on YouTube and you hear parents that only use zero to one dirty diapers per day, I bet they're either lying or maybe that's just one day out of like the whole week or the whole month that they really had a clean diaper all day. So that just can be really discouraging if you're hearing that online. That's why I made this video where the baby's like literally pooping on the floor. Like he really did poop on the floor and he's pooped out of other items as well. Really focus on the successes of that day and then whatever mistakes you made, just let it go and tomorrow is another day. Don't get discouraged by what you see on TV or on YouTube. It's just really everybody's different, every baby's different and the communication, the relationship you have with your baby is also really different. So don't get discouraged. So if you're doing EC, you hear about cues. There are cues, there are hints that your baby is giving to you, they're communicating to you that they need to use the potty. And the thing is, cues change all the time, along with your baby. If you've read any parenting book, it will say that babies fall asleep in one body and can wake up in an entirely new body. They grow one centimeter more during that sleep cycle, or maybe they are, you know, hitting a different developmental milestone. So whenever you do notice a cue and you're like, oh, my baby does this to go pee and poop, guess what? A month later, it might be totally different. So trying to listen to all these communication that your baby is signaling to you can be discouraging if you're doing EC. To bypass this, I would stick to a diaper changing schedule. Say you're gonna change your baby's diaper every two hours. And so every two hours, whether or not you have a timer or you kind of gauge it, you know, just on a flexible schedule, you're gonna change the diaper. And during that diaper change, as part of the routine, you're gonna sit your baby on the potty, give a signal, a cue to go pee, pss, and then put a new diaper back on. So I did that a lot more with my second baby as is already, and if I had another baby, I would probably go that route instead of trying to see and understand the cues. I would just focus on a diaper, potting, training schedule, and putting EC as part of the routine during a diaper change. And it's so quick and easy, honestly. It's not that much of an effort. So as I mentioned before, EC is not potty training, it's communication. That's why it's called elimination communication. It is the baby trying to communicate to the caregiver or parent that they need something from them. And the parent being aware of those cues, those hints, those 
um, little things, you know, ways of communication our baby is doing, such as sucking a thumb, crying, or if they're rubbing their eyes when they're tired, it's very similar. They might be doing something to show that, hey, I need to pee or I need to poop. So that's what EC is all about. So it's not potty training. Yes, I title all my videos potty training, but I do that for the algorithm. Come on, you guys. And for the click-through rate, because if I didn't write potty training on the videos, I don't think I would get that many views, honestly. Then there's the transitioning from doing EC communication to potty training. So I read two different potty training books. I read the three-day potty training book, I think that's what it's called. And that one I would say is a lot more for older kids. Like if you had a 30 year old or a four year old and you were tackling potty training at that age, then definitely read that book. I think the best book to read is Oh Crap Potty Training because it talks about elimination communication, noticing these cues, these hints that these ways that your kid is communicating to you and then reacting as a parent. So essentially in that book, it talks about doing elimination communication and then how it transitions to potty training. Eventually your baby will slowly take on more and more of the process until they are initiating or taking themselves to the potty. Comment below if you want me to do a book summary for Oh Crap Potty Training and I will put that in any future video. Okay. As I said before, EC is not potty training. You still have to potty train your child whether or not you do elimination communication. This statement is very true and can go about different ways. For, for one, you can do EC and potty train earlier or you can still do EC and potty train later. Like it really doesn't matter. Or you can completely skip EC and say start potty training at 12 months or 18 months, a little bit earlier than the average person in this country, which is United States. Or you can skip EC entirely and just go to potty training at say 12 months, 15 or 18 months, which is earlier than the average child being potty trained in United States, which is where we are or the Western culture. When you're potty training at that young age at between one to two, it's actually honestly, you're doing EC just on a little bit older child and you're just doing it for exposure. Doing EC doesn't mean your child will be potty trained earlier. And not doing EC doesn't mean that you have to wait until your child is older to potty train. You can clearly start potty training them a lot earlier if you really want to. Comment below if you're gonna give EC a try or simply pass it on and just do early potty training or you're gonna wait until your child is older. I really do wanna know and especially where you are in the world watching this video. If you are planning to potty train earlier then check out my playlist here on my elimination communication journey with my second baby. As I'm doing EC, some days I'm totally just over it. I'm like, this was a horrible decision. Why am I doing this? But then other days I think it's totally worth it. And now looking back, I think it's worth it. I do have a lot of messes. There is a lot of pees and poops. I do have to be aware of his schedule and you know, he needing to pee and how much fluid he's drinking. But I've also spent less than $100 on disposable diapers and he's 23 months old. I leave the house with him without carrying a diaper bag. And I know he'll hold it and I'll offer or he'll initiate and tell me when he needs to go. Now click here so you can see how much money you can save using cloth diapers and how much money you might be spending doing only disposable diapers. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Anissa and you've been watching the Catching Family YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye!